welcome, welcome, welcome to episode two of Why Are You Afraid of the Dentist? Waited all week to do this. Um, I kind of dabbled around with a couple of uh, different type of uh, topics, but I finally came up with one. But first, before I get started, I do want to go over what I discussed in the first video, which was the importance of dental care and also on x-rays so I forgot to mention one thing and that was this and that's for you guys who have gag reflexes you guys please before an assistant or hygienist whatnot before we start working on you guys please 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 let us know beforehand so we can do certain things to help you so that you will not throw the hell up all over us. Okay? I know that was a good tip. I hope it was a good tip that helped out someone. Okay? So, that was uh, the first episode. I got some real good feedback. Um, I'm going to start a new uh, thing at the end of the video. I'm going to go through some questions that were asked to me. And I'm going to answer them. So, if you guys have any questions, whether if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching it from a link from Facebook, uh, leave your comments there. Leave any questions that you want uh, to hear me respond to or answer, and I'll make sure that I put them in the next uh, video that I do on this subject. So, here we go. We're about to go in to... Or why are you afraid of the dentist? Episode two, man. How y'all guys doing today here on your Friday? It's your boy HH the Great Man back here with another video. Uh, back here with another episode, episode two of Why Are You Afraid of the Dentist? Now, we all know we went through the x ray portion uh, in episode one. So, episode two, I know a lot of folks that I've worked with are going to like this subject. And what I'm going to talk about today is front desk. Yes, 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 yes. The front desk. The front desk, man, is where you guys, when you first go into the dentist's office and you check in, sign your name, or you, and you deal with those folks there. The reception area. Uh... Also, there are all the people that you deal with when you calling to make an appointment uh, to come to the dentist's office. Now, here's my thing with patients when you guys, or here are the things that I hear from the front desk. I can, personally, I couldn't do front desk everywhere that I've worked. They have tried to get me to work up there at the front, and I'm there maybe about a hot three minutes, and then I'm back in the back. And I'm pretty sure some of my office managers who are watching this can vouch for that. But anyway, when you guys are calling, other for an appointment, or you're calling in because your tooth hurts or whatnot, please try to be as kind as you can be with the front desk personnel. They are not the reason that your tooth is bothering you, okay? There's no reason to cuss them out or get mad at them or anything like that. It is not their fault. Even if you're calling and for something that the doctor or something like that messed up on you about. The front desk personnel are not the reason why these things happen. They are in charge of the now. Front desk do, do have a lot of things that they have to do. A lot of things they deal with. They deal with insurance claims, um, you know, all the money parts. They deal with it. 
the answering of the phones. And trust me, in a dentist's office, that phone rings nonstop. Literally. Nonstop. Go sit in the dentist's office for about a good five minutes. Or if you're there, this is in five minutes, you see that they, they're answering one phone, and then they got to answer the next phone, and then they got a phone with their foot trying to answer that too. So that's a lot of stress. And then they got one person probably cussing them out on this one, and then they got another one who's being kind of pleasant but still a little bit upset, and then you got the one that's on your foot. They're mad because they're on hold, period. It's nothing else. They're just mad because they are on hold. So just keep this in, in mind when you call the dentist's office just to be very pleasant with these guys because these guys deal with a lot because they have to deal with everything in the front and then if they have to deal with anything going toward the back, which mostly that is the office manager. Shouts out to the two best office managers that I have ever worked for in my whole dental career. And that is Kimberly Rodriguez and Maria Chavadia. And the funny thing about this is that they both work in the same office together now. That's crazy. But those two are the best that I've ever worked for. Why? Because those two ladies accepted me for who I was and for my skills. And they knew I had something to bring to the table. They knew I was a hard worker. And... Like I said in my previous video, they are the reason why I am at where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? They have a big part in that, you know, for giving me a chance pretty much when nobody else would really give me a chance. Took me in, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, those are the two best. But just sitting and watching them, you know what I'm saying, they would, you know, have to be in the front, answering the phones, doing everything else, getting, you know, getting maybe grilled by you know a higher up plus a patient plus you know uh, you know assistants or doctors coming in there whining to them about whatever the case may be or the hygienist then you know what i'm saying they have to deal with the stuff in the back if you got you know a patient in the back that's upset or mad or whatever they want to see the manager now the office manager got to go back there and deal with that so whoo you know the funny thing is you would see that's the funny thing about office manager and any assistant or hygienist, or even a doctor that works in the dentist's office, look at your office manager when they come in in the morning. Look at them. Because they're all nice, and the hair is all, you know, you know, and they're smiling, and da-da-da-da-da, and this, that, and the third. Watch how they look when they leave. Hair's everywhere, sunglasses on. They're just like, I need to go right now. Because they deal with a lot, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know in, you know, in some of these offices, hey, man, I know some of my office managers, whoo! But anyway, but just so you guys, you know what I'm saying, can understand, you know, the front desk. They are very important in the dental office. We need these guys to not be stressed out. We need these guys to, you know, they are pretty much the reason why the office flows. You know what I'm saying? With patients coming in and, and stuff like that. And here's another thing that your, your patients that you guys, that you blame the front desk for. If you're there and the back is running a little behind, it is not the front desk fault why your ass ain't got to the back yet. That is probably the back staff. I'll probably touch on that on another time, but we're just talking about the front. So there's no need for you to go and tell off whoever because you haven't got to the back yet the thing is be patient be patient because we have not forgot about you at all trust me you know we have not forgot about you but going there you know i can understand you going respectfully because you have somewhere to be you know what i'm saying but let that be known when you first come in the office hey you know what i gotta be somewhere at three you know, my appointment's at, you know, supposed to be at 2. I got here at 1.30 and I haven't been seen, da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Trust me. If, if when And I know some of you patients can vouch for this. When you guys 
say this, don't you see the office manager or whatever front desk personnel, they go automatically to the back and let us know. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is don't do this is because you do this, you get the front desk mad. Then they come and tell the back staff, so, you know, we other have to rush on other patients, and then we're kind of upset because, you know, you're trying to rush, trying to rush us. And, and that's the thing, because working in the dental office, we want to make sure that we give the best care that we can to every single patient that comes in our office. And I'm not just talking about the office I work in or that I've worked in. That's every office. You know what I'm saying? That's across America. They want to be able to give you the best dental care that they can give you. So, you know, you know, yes, you know, some doctors, they're fast. And that's why I say a lot of times it's not the, it's not the front desk fault. It's not really even the assistant's fault. A lot of times, you know, you you're working with the doctor that's he or she is just slow. You know what I'm saying? They they really take their time to critique whatever it is that they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and we as, you know, staff members, dental assistants, hygienists, you know, stuff like that, we kind of got to flow with what it is that the doctor is doing. It's not really us, you know what I'm saying? You know, we try to get you guys back in a reasonable, you know, amount of time. We really, we do, you know what I'm saying? You know, and that's front staff, back staff, you know? So, you know, I, I just wanted to touch on that with the with the front staff because I know those guys take a lot of heat, you know what I'm saying, through the phone and also when patients come in, you know what I'm saying, you know, or whatnot, you know, and, uh, you know, again, when you guys even call on the phone, man, try to be as pleasant as you can be. That way you can get the answers that you want, you know what I'm saying, and the answers that you need, you know, or whatnot, you know. And another thing, if somebody from the front desk gives you a call about your appointment, call back. Please give them a call back. They're not a bill collector. They're not trying to rough you up. Well, in some cases, yeah, they are calling for payments, but still, give them a call back. Because when you don't call back, it kind of, it, it messes up the flow of the whole office. Especially if you have an appointment and you just decided not to show up. You know what I'm saying? We understand things come up or we're not. Give us a call and let us know what's going on. Okay, can we, can we do that? Can we work together on that? For all the people who, you know what I'm saying, that go to the dentist's office, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, again, I know a lot of people, too, are afraid of the waiting room. <laughs> the waiting room, which is the reception area. But I know a lot of people are afraid of that because they don't like to wait so long. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, oh, my God, that is like the worst for, you know, any patient, or across the board, any type of doctor's office. But, you know, we do hear it a lot in our field, too. You know, so, you know, you guys, man, it, it, we're not doing anything just to, you know, tee you off or anything like that. You know, we're, we're back there working. Trust me. We're not back there sitting and twiddling in our thumbs. You know what I'm saying? We back there working, just like the guys in the front. They're up there, guys and gals, mostly gals, sorry. You know, they're working their ass off pretty much so just be patient of that so i just want to touch on that for the front staff i hope that I, I did the people that i've worked with that i will work with later and that i work with right now i hope i did you guys some justice really i did let me know uh comment at the bottom uh you know Send me your questions, whether it's through Facebook, whether if it's, you know, through YouTube, down at the bottom. Like I said, I'll make sure I get to it and I'll answer it. I'm going to do my first Q&A, Q&A on this subject. So, you know, I'm very excited about it. Uh, it's not that many questions that I have, but I'm going to have fun doing it anyway. So, you know, big ups to, you know, uh, say some names and just, just front staff. Um, so I've already said Kimberly Rodriguez, uh, Maria Chavadia, uh, Danica Kraft, who's also worked in the front office that I've worked with, uh, Vanessa Rodriguez, uh, I've also worked with her. She's awesome in the front. She can, yeah, 
she could run a whole front office, really. You know, same thing with the other two, uh, uh, you know, the other people that I've, I've mentioned, you know, and like I said, the first two, their office managers already. They could run the dentist's office like it ain't no tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, um, Tris Bradley, who I mentioned last week, uh, Karina Ortiz, uh, yeah, those are pretty much the people that I've worked with that are in the front. I know I'm missing some names. Uh, Vanessa Rodriguez. Uh, that's who I currently work with right now. Oh, uh, man. You front desk people, man. Y'all know who y'all are, man. Y'all know if y'all worked with me, man. Y'all know y'all y'all here, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Q&A, man. So, uh, stay right there. All right, you guys. Now I'm going to read my comments, some of my comments and some questions I was asked uh, from my last week's uh, vid from the x-rays. So I got my boy, man, first and foremost, man, the kid always, big ups to you, man, thanks for commenting. Uh, and his thing was, why is he afraid to go to the dentist? It's because, and I'm going to read off what he says, because uh, dentists are like mechanics. You go there for a wisdom tooth and they tell you something about what can happen to you in 40 years if you eat the certain type of orange and try to waste oh and trying to waste your time mechanics will do the same and try to tell you what's going what's going to happen to your engine five years from now no offense that was good that was really good and the, my thing is to that is really we try to prove while we probably tell you things like that you know for in the future is preventative pretty much uh try to just let you know what's what could happen or what's going to happen you know uh especially referencing to wisdom teeth you know we uh recommend that a lot of people get them out early you know and we say that because you know we don't want anybody to be on a vacation or something like that then it starts to bother you you know uh you know, it's, whew, I mean, a lot of times when wisdom teeth start to hurt or you get a toothache, nine times out of ten, it's a time you didn't plan it. It's a time where you probably got money to set up to go here and go there and do this and do that, and all of a sudden your tooth start hurting. I've heard so many stories like that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really plans a toothache. I don't think anybody does or, you know. You know, unless you go to the, you know, to the dentist on, a, you know, a normal, you know, schedule, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really don't plan for your teeth to start hurting. No, nobody does, you know, so. Uh, but the man, that was a good comment, man. And he's all, that's my boy, man. For for anybody who's watching this, that guys I've worked with or, you know, dentist office-wise or whatever or whatnot, the, uh, the kid always is like my brother, man, so. You know, big ups to him. He comments on all my, my videos and stuff like that. So, you know, big ups to him. Uh, I got another one. I hope I'm saying this guy's name right. It's Marvin Velez. Uh, he wrote, uh, after having all my wisdom teeth pulled out, same session, uh, Dennis has been a piece of cake. Uh, have you Have you had an experience like this? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh, not with the wisdom teeth. Uh, I was lucky enough to keep my wisdom teeth. I thought they were going to take them out when I was in the military, but lucky enough, I was able to keep them. But I did have to have uh, my canines and also my teeth down here pulled when I was probably about 10. And I had to get them uh, pulled like that because I wore braces. Um or whatnot, my teeth, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, they, you know, I still need to go back, get my retainer, and all that stuff for, you know, my, you know, because I didn't wear a retainer when I got to the military, so my teeth shifted, but anyway, yeah, you know, so I had a real bad, that actually was my uh, bad dental experience, because I had four teeth pulled, and they wasn't loose, you know what I'm saying, so just imagine, you know, a guy, uh, you know, a doctor sitting there, you know, with forceps, which are the instruments that, you know, we use to uh, extract, which means take out, you know what I'm saying, your teeth. 
sitting there wiggling a tooth that's not loose and just four times. One, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? That, that happened, you know what I'm saying? And that was, that was terrible. I think I was, oh man, I was in pain for like three or four days after that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, in the long run, it did, it did well because, I mean, I had teeth, you know, uh, you know, overlapped here, overlapped, you know, teeth growing out of here, and, you know, I had teeth every freaking wear when I was younger, so, you know, that was, that was, uh, that was something that was, yeah, so I didn't have the wisdom teeth, and I, you know, I've heard so many things about getting your wisdom teeth extracted, and, you know, like I said, they, you know, they recommend that you do them early, and that you do them before anything bad starts to happen, so, you know, guys, I'm, I'm going to move real, real quick. Sorry. I don't want this thing to shut down. Give me just a second to just a second. All right. Okay. Go and finish this up. So, yeah. So, yeah, I, I've sort of experienced something like that. But not really. I had it with the front, not the, the wisdom teeth. Okay, so moving on to the next one is my boy, man. Screw knocking. Screw knocking. I want to know what goes through your head when you're teeth cleaning some, someone or anything with a patient. Mouth open and smells like stank ass still. I guess he was trying to put stank ass still grass it just put gr i'm not sure what that means he wrote two comments uh oh no no no. okay all right he wrote it again so it says i want to know what goes through your goes through your head when you smell the patient's stank ass stale garlic boo boo doo doo breath and then he said can i make a vid about that well i'm gonna answer your question and i know pretty much any doctor watching this any hygienist watching this any assistant watching this, any front staff member watching this, is probably laughing. What goes through our mind when we smell stinking ass breath is one word. And y'all know what that one word is. Damn! That's what goes through our mind. And the thing about stank breath, here's my thing on stank breath. A lot of times, bro, screw knocking, man, in my experiences, people with the worst breath be probably some of the cutest for the boy, for the guys, maybe handsome for the girls type of people. Like some people that you, that you see come up in the office and you look at them and you like, damn, that motherfucker look like his damn stuff breath stain or she look like her breath stain and it's really not that bad it be the ones that you just it just catch you off guard and that's the worst and some patients have breath be so bad it comes through our mass you could still smell it you know what i'm saying and you know it, it's just like i was talking about with the taking the x-rays you know you're getting ready and your assistant can vouch for this you know people that take x-rays hygienists we can vouch for this you know, when you getting ready to take that first x-ray, and you're like, go ahead and open your mouth. I'm going to put this in, and they're like, oh. Yeah. You either kind of want to gag, or you like, I know this motherfucker. I, I know that. You know, and even sometimes, I'm going to tell you this, bro, even sometimes you have to smell your own shit to, to see if it's you. And you can think, and think about it. You woke up with yourself. You drove yourself to work. You know what I'm saying? You've, you've clocked yourself in and you've been taking x-rays all day or, or whatnot if it's the first patient even in the morning. You've done all of this. And yet and still, if somebody comes in there and their breath smelling the way that it is, wow. 
you still, you still like under the mask. Is that me? <gasps> nah, that ain't me. That's that motherfucker. That's <laughs> that's what we're, what we're thinking. But you know, probably for the most of us. But it's not like you know we down in a person or whatnot or whatever. Now, when you're cleaning or they're in the chair and you know they open their mouth and you smell it then you know what i'm saying you kind of it depends if you're cleaning you know it's not gonna last too long pretty much when you get ready to put you know profi paste you know which is like the little toothpaste or whatnot and you're getting ready to do that and start to clean their teeth the smell goes away you know what i'm saying but a lot of people don't realize that the smell from your breath comes from your tongue it comes from your tongue so that's why it's very important when you wake up in the morning to not only brush your teeth and floss but brush your tongue because that's where that funky ass shit is coming from you know some people got it down in their throat yeah i said it throat i mean throat y'all guys know what i mean but yeah they got it down in their throat and you know that shit come oh lord but yeah man so those those are the questions that i got you know so you guys uh comment and and leave your questions so i'll be able to uh respond to them uh next week when i do next uh friday probably fridays or you know the times i'll post these videos so that way i can you know answer you guys questions or whatnot you know if you guys want me to say your name i will if you don't then i won't you know what i'm saying or whatnot but you know i hope like i said again i was able to do you guys justice or whatnot and uh hope i was able to help uh some people and kind of make some people laugh at the same time you know uh like we said man going to the den going to the dentist is you know it's actually fun sometimes when you think about it depending on the office that you go to depending on the people that you deal with uh so oh and one other thing i have to, i'm sorry i gotta go back and then i'm gonna end it about the breath thing yeah you get some people that come in there with their breath and they will you will smell it throughout the office now i don't know what type of breath that is that is some some I, I, it's so bad it don't even have a name it's that terrible because seriously you can be somebody walking by and be like oh damn my, and you know us, you know in the back we like damn such a fart or something no nah, man that's somebody motherfucking shit you know they've been i guess breathing hard i don't know man i don't know what you call that type of breath but yeah man it's crazy it's it's crazy but uh yeah anyway anyway man i appreciate you guys watching man uh you know uh shouts out again to all the people that i have worked with uh that i will work with in the future man and uh you know that's it pretty much for this week so tune in next week next friday where I will be discussing another topic. Or you guys let me know what topic y'all want to hear. What y'all want me to talk about along with your questions. And I'll look at them and see about, you know, about doing that uh, or whatnot. So, uh, it's your boy ATH the Great Man. And, like I said, I'm going to start telling y'all every video that I do like this. Make sure. No, no, no. Sorry. I messed it up already. If you take care of your teeth. Go to your appointments like you're supposed to. You will not have to worry about going to the dentist for BS stuff. Root canals and crowns and shit. Okay? So make sure that you're brushing two times a day in the morning before you go to sleep. Three times if your ass eat lunch. And that you're flossing in the morning, at night, and if your ass eats lunch. So, I'm out. Y'all take it easy. Have a good weekend. See y'all back next week with another episode of Why Are You Afraid to Go to the Dentist? Food for Thought. Y'all do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs>